You choose your destiny. Or does destiny choose you? Do we have the power of our own free will? Or is choice just an illusion? Who decides what's right and what's wrong? Because if you had the choice to do as you were told or save the world, what would you do? I know we're the last two people in the world to get a phone, but it doesn't mean they have to be the lamest. Dylan, quick! Sounds like a dapocalypse. I better go. Destiny awaits. Remember me. What's your name again? Dylan! And no monkey business down the stairs! Time to evolve, young man. Wait, there's an improvement there. Just for a second. Oh, no, it's gone. What did I say to you about those stairs? <laughs> but Granny loves it. Don't you, Granny? Put down me angina china. We've got something to tell you. You're splitting up. What? No. I'm adopted. Is he? You never said. Maybe we could give him back. <laughs> Listen, Dylan, things are good right now with work, with everything, but... But? How would you feel if we had to move? Move house? Mm -hmm. Where? Dubai. Dubai in Yorkshire or Dubai in the Arab Emirates? Is there a Dubai and in Yorkshire? There isn't, or says you. Listen, point is, we might be moving to Dubai. And we wanted to check with you first. See if it's okay. Yeah. Well, actually... Actually, we're just being polite. The thing is, we're moving. Is this good cop, slightly mediocre cop? And we're going in two weeks. There is no good cop, is there? Look, we know this is going to be a big change, but it'll be good for you, for us. Yeah! Life's about trusting your instincts, creating your own path. Well, my instincts say stay here. Oh, this is way too much emotional stress. Wait. You said I could get a mobile phone. Can I have a really expensive one? You said what? I could have any phone I wanted. It sounds like a trap. What do they want from you? Well... Actually, I... What is it? The washing up? <gasps> Dance aside. <laughs> Hold on. It's not dance size With them. Nothing, honestly. Homework, study, try harder at cricket. But I have this. Come on, let's do some damage. Wait. Do that dance size thing again. No, that never happened. How did it go? Like this? Or this? You wrote down the pin! <laughs> no one's watching. No one's gonna jump. I didn't put the pin in yet. I think it likes you. Transaction cancelled. Your account has not been debited. Free money? How much? 730 quid. Now that allows for some proper damage. You can buy me one too. Says you. Says me. <laughs> Time. Speed. Close. Everything's close and yet far apart. At the same time. <laughs> No.
No, we're not. Maybe your sister? Uh uh. Cousin? Nope. German exchange student? Nine. <laughs> then perhaps your friend would like to view our special phones. Lead the way, my good man. Nice design, used only once, a very special price, top brand, running the latest, most sophisticated, gorgeous software. Unbelievable. Forget those. They're a couple of spicy meatballs, unbranded, muay picante. I've got the latest range over here. Well, I've got the latest range right here. Hit me. Oh, um, I'm gonna be needing a receipt. If you must, in exchange for some basic personal details, quid pro quo, GDPR, F Y I. Decency supply. Sale of a century. Two spicy meatballs for the price of one. I think my meatball's ringing. Holy moly. Stupid refurbished phones. Open it! Open it! What should we... Dylan! Wait up! We've been burned. Don't you want to take them back? Mine's booting up. Try hitting the power and the home button. Holy moly. Should we answer? Together? Hello? Granny? If that's a creepy shop assistant. Shh. Help. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. No, you don't have, we much, don't time. have much time. We're hanging up. Dylan. Molly. Listen to me. Who is this? All that matters is that you do what I say. Why would we do that? Because the world depends on it. I'm calling from the future. Come on, let's go. Sounded like Barry putting on a voice. Who's Barry? Barry. The Bazaroo, the Bazmeister, the Basmanian Devil. The Bazaclaws, Barry Barrington. He's always trying to do this. Oh, Barry Wet Nose. Nah, he can barely operate one phone at once. And how would he know our numbers? So who knows our names and our numbers? It's got to be a prank or a scam. But if we or were, malware. But if we charge them up, we'll find out more. Greetings, Lady Slide. Ah, good day to you, Lord Dylan of Wrench. And pray, what devilry is amok today? Hmm? Your sweat, that's oh. <laughs> Fear not, dear princess. Hmm? Now that I have completed my aerobicus routinus, I shall cleanse myself forthwith. Ciao. Nothing. Needs a bit of juice first. Watch out, I might have sweated in that juice. Mum, MYOB. But your business doth be mine, my sweet. What's future TX? Probably 40 quid a month. I am changing the sim. Right then, speak. I'm calling from the year 2048. Yeah, right. Your names are Molly Abigail Slide. Dylan Bertie Wrench. Bertie. Off to my gran. What do you want? We need you to locate a device. Can't you travel back in time with all your future gizmos? We're busy. Physical time travel isn't feasible. 
Only data transmission is possible. What year did you say you were calling from again? 2048. Oh, yeah. Prove it. I will. Not by something I say. It is something you do. I am confident you will think of something. Hold on. I know something we can do. Two words. Time. Capsule. Future you can dig it up. Mr. Piggles. You choose again. I won't even look this time. Super secure. <laughs> look at your hair. I'm totally rocking the hair, dude. Says you. Says me. Dig it. Poor Mr. Piggles. He was a good pig. So, have you ever heard of a place called Dubot? I've got it. Oh, yeah? Got what? I've got it. A deposit box. There's a photograph ripped in half. A child with bad hair. <laughs> There's a toy, a bear, or a pig, and a badge. Strange, very apt. There's also a tennis ball with what looks like a hand-drawn emoticon. OK, you've got our attention. How are you doing this? Your devices are enabled with quantum entangled particles. This allows for short periods of one-way communication. It is called Future TX. One way? Does that mean you can call us, but we can't call you? Correct. But we're having a conversation. No. I'm listening to recordings you're making into your phones right now. I'm sending my signal response back. These communications can only be sent to and from the same phones. The original source device. So you're speaking into the very same phones as us? Yes. We are not sure how reliable the system communication will be. But who owns the phones? Where did they come from? You're the earliest registered owners. We can't trace the phones any farther back. What we do know is this is all part of the causal loop. This guy's a real fruit loop. <laughs> Proper stranger danger. If our loop is to remain consistent, then certain events have to occur. You said something about finding a device before. We need you to locate the source of a rogue botnet so that we can disable it. It's imperative you accept the task, but you must not tell anyone about these phones. And lo, the passing of the sun doth be near, my sweets. But the sun never sets in my heart, knowing there is always tomorrow. Ah, oh, my brave knight. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Say your farewells, my sweet. Find the prepared nourishment doth await for your gob. Come. Two minutes, Mum. Yeah, now. Come on. My access with you is limited. Our communication is preset. But I show you more via virtual reality headsets, which, according to our data, you obtain by tomorrow. What are you doing? It's all just a stupid game. Checks out so far. No, it doesn't. See? PHTX said the photo was red. Get us out here. I think I'll get some VR headsets. Did that all come with your new phone? It's got quantum entangled particles. Oh, sounds fancy. 
It receives messages from the future. They've got an app for everything these days. Yeah, but nothing doing. At least not yet. I did just get this weird call. Someone saying be careful. I don't think it was Future TX. Hmm, more stranger danger. Can't be worse than you going to Dubai, though. Oh, I... How did... Your dad told my mum. He only told me this morning. I was gonna... Ah, it sucks. Dubai might not be so bad. They've got robot jockeys on camels. Robot camels? Real camels, robot jockeys. They go really fast. But I leave in like two weeks. We better sort out the future quickly then. But it's too late to meet up now. <laughs> we got double PE first thing. We could sneak off in our normal clothes, follow what little info we already have. <laughs> no one's gonna miss us. Physical education is an important part of a student's well-being. Hey. Just doing my bit for the casual loop. Causal loop? As in cause and effect? That's what I said. That's what I made you say. <laughs> what about your school uniform? It's dress down Friday. Uh, hold on, it's Tuesday. What can I say? The education system's not what it used to be. Maybe we're being scammed. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. I'm sending a VR file now. Hold on. <laughs> this is just my street. Yeah, I see the same. This is your street now. Oh, steady on. But this is your street in the future. What future? When? Are my mum and dad okay? Do we go to Dubai? The fate of your parents is unknown. But societal breakdown tears families apart. Who's doing this? Tears families apart. What happened? Over the next few years, your society moves swiftly from the digital age to the quantum age. Quantum computing allows us to code in a completely new way. Look, the quantum age looks grim. It transforms society. Artificial intelligence monitors our facilities and services. But the AI has been infiltrated, corrupted by a botnet. Whoa! Look! Up there! Is that. Is that real? Ah! Can't you fix it? Not now. It is too strong. But it activates in your area, in your present day. If you get its password, we will be able to disable it. But where? How do we find a botnet? I'm sending you coordinates to where we think it's located. The future looks bleak. Maybe it means you don't go to Dubai. Yeah, but what happens instead? 
Only one way to find out. I don't think we're in the right place. It's close, but the coordinates say... Dylan! Come on, never mind the coordinates. It's got to be this place. Hi, I'm Dylan. This is Frau Helga. She's my German exchange student, and she's here to survey your botnets. Barbara, is that you? Oh, come on in. Oh, it's so nice you've come to see me. And you've brought a friend. Um, yeah, this is Dylan. I told you all about him, remember? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Come on in, dear. Don't be shy. Mi casa es su casa. Well, in that casa. <laughs> Sit on down. I'll make you some tea, Bob. And you too, Dobbin. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, she's pleased to see us. What are we looking for again? A botnet. It's like a network of computers that's controlled by someone. So I guess we're looking for a sort of computery thing. Wouldn't surprise me if Mrs. Batstick had a back cave or something. Good thinking. I was joking. I'll take a look upstairs. you came, let me take a good look at you. You're not... You're not Mrs. Bratstick. What? what? <laughs> Keep up, Bob! Next time future TX phones, we should quiz them some more. Get as much detail as we can. Hey, try calling me. Don't answer. Don't want to waste my credit. That old tramp, the guy with the hairdryer. Maybe he has the bonnet. He looked well dodgy. Exactly. What if Mrs. Spatstick sees us? She can barely see past her own face. So did you see where he went?
Hello? Little help, please. Didn't Future TX say our part of the conversation was recorded? Maybe we should make a recording now. Hi, it's us. You know, the girl with the weird hair and her best friend? We're at the location. What should we do now? I know what we should do. A stakeout. Really? This may be a waiting game. What's that for? Case of movement. Oh, watch out for that big hairy spider that's crawling up your leg. <laughs> All good. Stop distracting me. We're trying to focus here. Time just flies by, but the future's always far away. You snore. Do not. Our data has changed. Did you follow the coordinates exactly? Yes, a hundred percent. We accessed a message from Molly requesting what action to take. That was right. Two hours ago. If you record a message, I don't know when to access it. That is why the phone calls are the most efficient mode of communication. They are quantum tied. System recalibrating. I thought you said our communication was preset. The botnet is active, creating changes in our causal loop. Everything relies on the data. How do we know we can trust your data? It's the data you provide. At least tell us what we should do about the Shed guy. His name is Foley. Are you sure he's important? He looks a bit crazy. Monitor his movements. Is that it? That is the only data you have? Yes. Then why are you phoning? Moral support. Nice guy. Real team player. Helpful. Must send him a thank you card. I'll bury it in my garden. Monitoring his movements isn't getting any data. We should just go talk to him. Dylan Stat. Spider! Oh, yeah. That's so Dylan style. It's a general rule that title by adverse possession cannot be acquired as public property. QED, this is this is my gap. Get your own. Sorry, um, sir, we wondered if we could talk to you for a moment. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Anything. Knock, knock. <laughs> Engine knock theory. Ping detonation boom. We're here because of the botnet. Oh, great. Subtle. 
Um, sir, Mr Foley. What did you call me? Foley? Hey! So who are you? She's Molly. He's Dylan. Dolly and Millen, yes, I got that. Mr. Foley, we thought. I'm not a mister anymore. I, 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 I used to be in the past. In, in the past, I, I, it's funny, isn't it? The past is something you can, you can feel, but you can never touch. Nice, deep. Where, where, has, where has the future? The future hides its secrets in plain sight. Hey, that tickles. <laughs> ah! Critical impact. Now, what, what, what is that? It's happening in three days' time, and I will be there. Will I be there? Three days? Not much time. Mr. Foley, this computer... Foley? Who told you my name was Foley? We just want your computer. <laughs> nice hair dryer, mate! <laughs> well, at least I've got hair that's still in fashion. Uh, you startled me, but I had a comeback line. And that was it. <laughs> Good one. Nice gag, top lols. <laughs> Now we're all joke buddies. How about that computer then? Well, uh, now that is an original G4. That's retro, vintage, and yours for 100 quid. All right, 50 quid. That, that, that is as low as I can go. 30 quid, that, that is my final offer. £2.20? I've got £5.65. I do. That'll do. You can owe me the rest. Mm. Here we are. It's up, of course. Oh, uh, what's the password? No password. No worries. Well, thank you, Mr. Foley. Thanks. Just thanks. You owe me £22.15. You won't forget. You won't forget. <laughs> £22.15 for my computer, a couple of kids, Dolly and Millen, and they kept calling me Foley. <sighs> Foley? That's me. Oh! Woo! Oh. Don't we carry it? You're doing great. It's so heavy. Come on. No! Go, go, go! Wait! Come back! That is not safe! Hold up for a sec. Oh. Is he chasing us? I can't see him. We've lost him. Oh. Wait, the future is heavy indeed. Foley sounded a bit like Mr. Future TX himself to me. Maybe. He did sound a bit nuts. Check we ditched him. You check. No son of four. Dylan! Aww. Hello, little fella.
Whoa. Right, drop the computer. What? Leave it. Now hold it, doofus. Do you think Foley sent the drones? Darts. Which way, Molly? This leads to the cricket pitch. Barry! Who? Went those. What? Give us that. Cheers, Barry. Yeah, nice one, that nice. Well, that's just not cricket. Scarpa.
Nice moves. Come on, let's go. How did you get away? Turns out, they're easily tricked. Maybe we should get one of those drones. Take it apart. Maybe we should leave it. Did you get the box net? We're fine, thanks. Leave it somewhere I can find. Like your time capsule. Slight problem. We lost it again. System recalibrated. Who are these guys? Do they have the botnet? Well, we think so. Then you must act fast. Access the password. Fix the system. What about? Them. What do they want? Control. What's the difference between fixing the system and having control? Whichever side you're on. According to our data, everything leads to something known as critical impact. We assume that's when the botnet takes control. License plate. Nice one. What do we do with it? Check online, the DVLA. It says it's a blue van. <laughs> Not much else. Nothing to go on anyway. I don't like this. Time for jokes. We nearly got killed. Ah, it wasn't that bad. What's wrong with you? All right, Miss Serious. Lighten up a bit. But this is serious. Like, duh. Oh my god, you're so frustrating. Molly. Molly! Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I certainly will. Thanks for the call. Bye. Yeah, stupid computer. Nothing works. Dylan went AWOL. Say again? From school? Hey, not so fast, young man. Have a good day at school. Look, I, I can't explain. There's this guy. He calls me from the future. Says he needs our help. Says we need to find a password for a botnet. Otherwise, the future's in big trouble. But now they're on to us. Honestly, Dylan, you're making it worse for yourself. Hand it over. But that. No, no buts. I'm confiscating it until further notice. We leave for Dubai in a week. You said two weeks. What can I say? 
It's all systems go. No, it isn't. I'm not going to Dubai. I'm not going anywhere. You can go to your room. Data. Shh. It's late. New data. Critical impact. New data. What are you talking about? Impact. Hello? No, that would be foolish. Stick to your current line of action. What line of action? Methinks bedtime doth call. <laughs> Not for the naff routine, Mum. But you know I love it. It harks back to my Andram days. Hmm? What could have been the lights, the stage? Oh. Hey, is everything all right? Hmm. Future sucks. Don't know what to do. Dylan and Dubai. Everything. Well, you know what? What will be, will be. Hmm? Doesn't mean you can't have some fun. What do you mean? Well, live in the moments you have, not in the moments you'll miss. Oh, Mum, please, you speak like a fortune cookie. What should I do? <sighs> Molly. Oh, I love you. Hmm? You're always going to be my wibbly, scribbly, scrumptious little scroll mold, but, oh, you really need to take that stick from out your butt. <sighs> <laughs> okay, people, have a great day. Miss me, and you, no monkey business. You ready? For what? School. I'll take you, personally. What's the point? We're leaving. Behaviour has consequences. This is it. The future's going down the pan. The causal loop is breaking. You have to regain control. Easy for you to say. In an imperative, critical impact. When is this big critical impact? What is it? Tomorrow, critical impact. Tomorrow, Tomorrow. I can't do that. We can't do that. You can. You will. You must. You must. There you are. You've marked your territory. Come on. Where? 
Back to Inception. What? What do you mean? The mobile phone shop. This isn't like you. You're not usually this risky. I'll take that as a compliment. Future TX said that critical impact is tomorrow. If we don't watch out, then the botnet wins. We should take this more seriously. We don't know what we're doing. I didn't take this seriously before, but now it's real and, and I don't know how to save the world. I know it's real. It's too real. Everything. And I can't do this by myself either. And you're leaving, remember? To become a stupid robot jockey in Dubai. I'm leaving even earlier now. Next week, it's out of my hands. Let's live in the moments we have, not in the moments we'll miss. What? What I mean is, there are so many things out of control. The one thing we can control is ourselves. That's it, ourselves. What if I dialed my own number? What if we spoke to ourselves? Future TX said that communication can only be sent to and from the original source device. Hold on. You're calling yourself in the past. Someone's answered. Is it you? I, I don't know. They're not saying anything. Just be careful. Just be careful. Just be careful. That's what I said to, to him. He said to me two days ago. Or what I, I said to him just now. Oh, my head hurts. Right, your turn. But I didn't. I mean, why would I want to call myself? I hate my voice. It's lame. Hold on. If I do call myself in the past, does that mean I could change the future? We need answers. Let's find Creepy Shop Assistant. Just let me go now, please! Wait, let me look. I haven't done anything! The Master of Disguise. Why? Hey! Hey! Psst, monkey Boy! Yeah, you, fan of the eight. You got one of those phones from the future? I have one too. Tempest Fugit. Wait here. Listen it. What did you say your name was again? Dominic Santiago. You can call me Black Wheel. Street artist extraordinaire. Don't worry, it's safe in here. They won't find us. Who? Well, anyone, everyone. We're being tracked on cameras, phones, transactions. Don't worry, I've heard the place. My cousin Nero helped me. Simple fire in the cage, no signals. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. See? No signal. So, where did you get your phone? I was on the streets, finishing a new original piece, when I was spotted by a fan. Barbara! Barbara! So I'm in a smooth getaway. Uh, uh, uh. But then I saw it. Strange lights. Had to check it out. Had to get out of there. Fast. I kept one for myself and gave the other two to a mate of Leo's, guaranteeing their safety. Oh. 
Well, you know what happens when you have one of those phones for a while? Hello? What do future TX tell you? To look up for you two. That you'd be messing things up looking for the botnet. Thanks a lot. Well, everything else they said so far has been true. And you do look like a couple of noobs. I forget the feeling of being played. That is exactly what Future TX said you'd say. Do you know who Future TX is? No. But the friends use some kind of quantum particles to work. Quantum entanglement? Exactly. And get this, there's a company called Quantacrypt and a guy called Foley who made or will make some sort of breakthrough. Yes, we know him. Did you get his password? Apparently that's the key to the botnet. No. We have to drop the computer. What computer? Foley's. You mean he still has it? Has what? His phone. We don't know anything about his phone. That's the source of the botnet. Or at least, it will be. He invented it and programmed it to spread to any device it can find. We have to go back to Foley's. What about Quantacrypt? Do you think they're the ones chasing us? The dodgy van? The drone? She's right. We should head back to Foley's. Put your stuff there. She? Who's she? HTX. The woman that calls me from the future. What has she told you? Our guy barely tells us anything. Do you trust her? Do you trust your future TX? Isn't it fun finding out? New number. Mine's not ringing. Who is it? Doesn't say. Answer it. Hello? Hello? How? How? Have we what? Have we found the botnet? Have you been in an accident that wasn't your fault? <laughs> You should have seen the looks on your faces. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, the bot there, the bot there, the big fat it's bot there. Not funny. <laughs> What's happened here? Where's Foley? Right here. Whoa. Extreme makeover. Thank you, Dominic. I'll take it from here. I'm Foley. Francis Foley. Pleased to meet you. The Foley that you've met is my brother, Ben Foley. Brothers. Twins. What was that expression you used, Dominic? A couple of noobs? Now I'm starting to feel play. The time is really short now, so if you'd come with us... You've got the wrong kids. She's Barb, and I'm the famous Barry. My friends call me Wet Nose. You're going to have to trust me. Whoa! Drones! I'll have one of them. We're doing this for your own safety. You don't have to hurt them. There's no answers. The course of truth is broken. Dylan, I'm scared. Dylan. Yeah, I'm here. 
I'm scared too. But at least we're together. Shh, someone's coming. Pretend to be asleep. I'm sorry about these syringes. A harmless sleeping serum. And the binds. Just a simple safety precaution. To keep who safe? You? From us? To keep the future safe. You two are a little unpredictable right now. You've broken the loop. But I really only need to know one thing. Where is he? Who? Help us out a little. No, no. Yeah, yeah. We don't know where he is, OK? And you showed up. Now, listen, my brother isn't very well. He was the one who invented this future TX technology. We both did, right here. But the work took its toll most heavily on him. He couldn't grasp the potential of this device. A hotline from the future to the past. And all I want to do is protect him and the future. I want to keep everything safe. So, you want to stop the botnet? I'm afraid the botnet it can't be stopped. It can, perhaps, be controlled. The future is on a knife edge, and my brother holds the key, and you too. Well, you've just been on the wrong side all this time. Well, it, you've got to understand that it really doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. Right now, I separate you. What, you mean split us up? It's just how it happens. I'm not coming anywhere without Molly. Dylan! Molly! Welcome to Quanta Crypt, Dylan. If you've never been around a major scientific discovery that will change mankind, this is what it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? Don't worry. I can see you don't understand the real significance of all this. Neither did my brother. Luckily, I do. Oi, Dominic Santiago. Up. Get some rest. What happens now? We put our faith in the future. Come along, Dominic. Let's get that phone of yours back to the lab. Well, actually, first, I thought we might talk about what we do next. That's right. Actually, I need the toilet. Oh, well, if you must. I assume you can handle yourself from here. I'll take that back to the lab myself. Come on, think, think. Creepy shop assistant sells us these phones. Future TX calls us and gets us involved. We check it out and it leads us straight to Mad Foley. Dominic double cross. 
leads us straight to Hanson for us. The people in the future knew it would play out like this because if it didn't, then they wouldn't be able to call us because they wouldn't have the phones. Which means we've been puppets all along. Which means you're stuck, idiot. Lift me up. No way, Jose. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Foley told me you were the bad guys. And Future TX, my Future TX, didn't tell me the whole story. And I don't like being pushed around. It's the wheelchair a scam, too. Hey, I want to get here. Don't make me regret it. We need to find Molly. Do you know where she is? I think so. All right. Go back. Go back. Hold on a sec. There's a sharp edge here. <sighs> Get these ties off. There we go. Ah. <sighs> Giddy up. You crawled all the way here. I, I heard you talking earlier. It's very nice. <laughs> Emotional. But I get what you mean. We've been puppets. But don't worry, I've got your back. Well, not really. Hold up. Ah. How do I know you're not just leading me back to Foley? Why would I go through all of that effort? Well, how can I trust you? How can I trust you? What if this is all just one big joke and you're all in on it? The only thing that matters right now is getting Molly. So get a move on. Come to the coast. <sighs> We'll get together, have a few laughs. Did you come this way before? Um, no. Better out than in. We need to get Molly. You can't just wheel <sighs> back in there. Hmm. We need some equipment. Well, a wheelchair would be kind of useful. There. Sure, we can't be traced here. I told you. <sighs> Faraday cage. No signal. Don't worry about it. But how did you end up working for QuantaCrypt? They found me online. They said they'd turn me in for nicking their phones and being the black world. Unless I helped them find all three phones and get them back. But with my legs and my spinal injury, there's not a cure at the moment. But Foley said there could be. Gene therapy, they call it. I'd like to know what the future holds. And everything Foley said with the phones in the future has come true. But now... Now? I don't like being played.
There's your wheelchair. Yes. We're on the right track, then. Go, go. Okay. When the security geezer comes out, we'll rush him. What are you doing? Closest thing I have to a weapon. You ready? What? No. You scared, Black Will? No, I just thought we could be doing better. Black Will strikes back. You ready? Three. Two. One. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. I mean, we came to save you. What as? For being Bertie and stupid stocking face? It's OK. We can trust him. He's been played, just like us. Do you still have your future TX phone? No, he fairly took it from me. You know where they are? Password. Password. Yeah. Why were they asking about that? Is it to do with critical impact? Let's just grab them and go. It's all a bit easy, isn't it? What? This. Us. Escaping, getting Molly, grabbing the phone. Speak for yourself. Yeah, but no one's tried to stop us. Knocking someone out with a tray. Does that even work? Felt like it did. It's all part of what's supposed to happen. At this point, who cares? See? Not that easy. Phones, they're booting up. You don't have to worry, Mr. Foley. You don't it's have not to Foley, worry, it's us. Mr. Of course. Regrettable, of course. But the children did their best. Their best. It's us, still in a moment. Critical impact. Everything changes. What's happening? Causal loop. It's broken. Changes. Yes, I am the botnet. But we can control the future together now that the phones are safe. What's it saying? Future TX is the botnet. I couldn't risk all of my work being undone. I, I, I critical impact. Critical impact. Critical impact. We can still stop the botnet. Prevent critical impact. Crazy Freddy said he'd be there when it happened. Let's go find him then. Which way? Uh, future the X's go right. Wait. Now she says turn left. There are the kids. Straight ahead. Do our own thing, our own way. Hold on, hold on. Critical impact must be something that changes everything. Hold oh, no, on, come. Come on, we can do this. An event that alters the future. Keep moving. This is it. It's about to happen. Forward, forward. No. Molly, wait! You, she, she just, ah. Molly, 
Molly. It doesn't happen like this, does it? Critical impact. Ambulance. Please, Coast Guard, anyone, everyone. Oh, big. That's good. That's good. Yes, yes. Non-critical impact. This, this has been. Uh... Phony. Your phone. My phone. Give me the password. We have to change this. The past, the future, everything. I'll take that. You've got to help me. Help this girl. That's all technology was ever meant to do. Help, help people. Maybe. In the past. But now, it can do so much more than that. More than you could have foreseen. You got left behind, Ben. Come on, Dominic. You're with me. No! I'm not being pushed around anymore. The future is on the line. This couldn't have worked out better. I think you'll agree. Uh-uh. Incorrect. Uh -uh. You've been played. Uh -uh. Who is this? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you'll find out in three, two, one. What? Turn around now. I see. Of course. I, I, I think you'd better take this. Hello? Dylan, Dylan. listen very carefully. Right now, there's right a young now, girl injured, young on injured on the ground. I know you're scared, she's but she's going to be okay. What about the botnet? Thanks to critical impact, Foley, the nice Foley, makes a breakthrough with the botnet. He's able to salvage all the damage it did. The future's safe. You saved us. How? Quantacrypt Foley said he was trying to create his own version of the causal loop. So we had to give him false information and try to help you instead, to make sure things happened the way they should, right up to critical shot things. But we didn't know what it was or what it meant. Now we do. It's you and Molly. What about us? It's you and Molly. What about the future? Let's just say robot camels are waiting for you in Yorkshire. And there's a bigger future ahead for the both of us. And there's a bigger future. Says you. Says me. Says me. Molly. I'll go now. I never did like the sound of my own voice. Never did like the sound of my own voice. Molly. Molly. Easy. I thought I'd lost you. We did it, Mo. We won. I'll take care of all this. There's no time like the present. Let me all present. Like the time? You go. <laughs> it's time for us to make amends for our past, my dear brother. Do you choose your destiny? Or does destiny choose you? Do we have the power of our own free will, or is choice just an illusion? Is human behaviour essentially predictable? Well, only sometimes. Listen very carefully. We don't have much time. Future TX Phase 1 complete. Initiating Phase 2 in 3, 
two, one.